Welcome back everyone. What a game and what a performance from Anthony Davis. Dropping 41 points, 11 rebounds, shooting 13 of 17 from the field, and 2 of 2 from beyond the arc. And then not to mention how clutch he was out there too, making some big time free throws to secure their win. And when they're getting this version of Anthony Davis, the Lakers are incredibly difficult to beat, with or without great production from their role players, and it's hard to believe that he went nearly the entire second quarter without attempting a field goal attempt. I mean, give credit to Toronto, they knew the guy they had to stop to win this game, though it obviously did not end up working out for them, with AD finding a way to make an impact regardless. However, as we found out before, they can get a great game from Anthony Davis and still get beat, even with LeBron having a great game as well, which he did happen to have tonight too. But even with that, they do need to get good production from their role players. They don't always need great production, but good enough to where LeBron and Anthony Davis don't have to do everything, which was not the case tonight. In addition to those two, the Lakers had five other players scoring double figures, including every single member of their starting lineup, along with two other four guys that came off the bench for them tonight, and that happened to be D'Angelo Russell and Christian Wood, both of which played really good again for them in this game. Not only that though, but their entire bench unit had a positive plus minus rating, and don't overlook that because that truly is noteworthy. It's very rare for a team's entire bench unit to make a positive impact, but I think they qualified for that tonight. Between D'Angelo Russell and Christian Wood, they gave the Lakers a great scoring punch, along with pretty solid defense out there too, not something that those two are particularly known for. And then Vanderbilt and Christie provided some great rebounding and defense, combining for 10 total rebounds, along with a big offensive rebound for Christie late in the fourth quarter. And overall, I really like the way their team played in this one, and I can truly say that every single player who got minutes tonight made a positive impact, arguably for the second game in a row now too a very good sign for their team going forward. And while you might point to the score and say, well, why didn't they blow the Raptors out then? I think you need to factor in how well Toronto shot the ball, knocking down 17 three-point shots and nearly 50% shooting. And even though a number of them were due to miscommunication on defense, plenty of them were heavily contested. They simply made them, and that's why it took everything it did for the Lakers to pull this one out. But again, I really was impressed with their performance tonight between Anthony Davis going off, LeBron having a great supporting game, and then their role players providing good production too, they got a complete team effort out there, and you really can't ask for much more than that. With all of that being said though, I'll let you hear from the Lakers about their win tonight. And after listening, let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below. And boy was he big. Anthony Davis joining us. He had 41 points on 17 shots. He was 13 of 14 from the free throw line. In the fourth quarter AD, 20 points, 11 for 11 from the free throw line. A dominant performance. You came out with a purpose tonight, 16 in that first quarter. Coming off that big clipper win, how important was it to back it up with a victory tonight? Yeah, very important. Um, obviously, you know, the clipper game. You know, guys to get up for that. Um, Crosstown rivals, you know, Battle of LA, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's the games after this. You know, a team that's under 500, um, both of us actually, and see how we respond to that big time win. And, um, you know, we'll take it. You know, obviously some things that we can do better. Um, you know, guys made some big time plays for them towards the end, but. You know, for us, uh, it was a big time win for us. You know, AD, a lot of talk during the team's struggles about the role players, the other guys besides you and LeBron needing to step up. How big have they been in these last two games? Huge. Um, you know, Cam, obviously what he does defensively, made some big threes tonight. TP, you know, always doing what he's doing, shooting the ball extremely well. Uh, you know, Austin, C. Wood, extremely. Uh, I'm not sure how much he had. Uh, 14. He had 14, big 14 for us tonight. Um, making some big time, timely shots, some big stops, big rebounds for us. So, you know, all our guys came in and, and did a, a heck of a job, Max. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be the others. You know, obviously it's going to be a lot of attention on, you know, me and Bron and, you know, the other the others going to have a lot of wide open shots, a lot of open plays, and, um, you know, we just got to just gotta get, keep feeding them the ball, keep trusting them, they got to keep making plays. Eddie, this is Rob. Uh, this is a crazy month, and what I mean by that is y'all play every other day. <laughs> what are you doing personally to keep yourself in the right place, mentally and physically? Sleep. 
Uh, <laughs> the, days <were> not playing. <laughs> the days were not playing. Uh, just getting away from the game. I mean, we play every other day. You know, we come in, watch film, and then I just go home and be with my wife and kids, man. I mean, you know, playing every other day, you know, you can get um, – a little, a little bit too much of the game of basketball and um, a lot of stress on yourself uh, mentally and physically, you know, on the body. So uh, I come in, you know, you know, the days that we're not playing, I get a good lift in uh, and then just kind of get away from the game, spend time with the family. Um, so I can always just stay uplifted, even through the struggles that we were having, you know, when we lost four in a row. Um, you know, you look at it and just, you know, realize it's, it's, it's basketball. Obviously, it's a, you know, competitive sport. Obviously, I'm a competitive player and, you know, you hate losing, but, you know, you don't want to drown yourself in misery. Um, you know, and then you, know, you got to have a great support team around you. So for me, when those days off, get a good lift, make sure the body's staying, staying strong and healthy, and then uh, spend the time with my kids. AD, congratulations on, on bringing the pain, brother. Uh, uh, for the last couple of years, it seems like you guys haven't had an opportunity to get a sick guys out. You've had injuries, inconsistencies, the lineups. Now it seems like you guys – or, or have a system in place that no matter who you plug in, Wood, Christie, yeah. it seems to be working. Do you feel like you guys have arrived at a place where you've got most of your system in place that you can play consistently every night regardless of who's in the slots? Yeah, and I think uh, it's the system, but also guys are just staying ready. Um, you know, see what wasn't getting a lot of minutes, but, you know, we've been on him and just staying ready, you know, getting your work in, and when your number's called, be ready, and he's been playing extremely well for the past couple games uh, when his number's been called. So um, I think that's what it is. You know, guys are constantly going into the gym, uh, getting their shots, the shots they're going to get in the game. So now when those shots come, they're ready. Um, everybody's staying professional, and that's what it's about. So when you are plugged into that system, you're ready to go, uh, not trying to figure it out during the game, but staying ready so when your time is called, staying locked in into the huddles. Uh, if you're you're not getting time or if you're on the bench um, and just staying ready. So I think, you know, all our guys, hats off to them. They've been ready, and, and when the time is called to come in and make big plays, they've been doing that. Night 20 in the fourth quarter. What did you see from him, really, from start to finish? Um, just locked in. Um, you know, we knew we had, a um, you know, an advantage in the interior tonight, you know, and uh, just try to get it to him early and often and late. So that was, that was my mindset all game. Uh, pretty good defensively. In fact, Darwin just said you're, he's your defensive middle linebacker. Had that big block shot, a couple minutes left. Made all his free throws, too. I think it was 11 for 11 down the stretch. Yeah, but, uh, big time. Um, you know, nothing surprised me, though, with him. I've been in so many big games with him, and uh, but it's always a treat to see him go off like that and happy to be a part of it. LeBron, you had six assists before you scored tonight and finished with 12. What did you see earlier? Um... Just, I just try to read, uh, you know, angles and things of that nature. And, you know, most of them, you know, was the AD. I was just seeing the way they were playing AD. They was allowing me to kind of come off the, off the pick and rolls. I was able to hit AD in a couple, couple pocket passes. He was able to finish them. So, uh, you know, got, got him in a great rhythm early on. And I think that carried on to the fourth quarter for us. Prior to tonight, one of the better games you guys played, even while the stretch has been tough, was in OKC. And it was a big assist night for you, big assist night for the team. And, and you beat a good quality opponent. Is that part of what the recipe could be for you guys moving forward? Can be. Um, yeah, can be. Um, but obviously, you know, every game has its own challenges, but, you know, um, I will say the year that we won a championship, I led the league in assists. And, um, you know, not comparing that team because that's a hell of a team that year when we won it, but um, it's always been, you know, good ingredients when I have those, you know, good assist games where I feel like everybody's getting involved, but when I have those high assists, most of them go to AD, and that means that's very well. And that works well for our team because he's a uh, big time for us. How about just what he did in the last minute of the game? He blocked a shot. He uh, hit free throws, made buckets. I mean, you may not win without what he was able to do there. No, we can't win without AD. That's impossible. LeBron, some of the some of the second unit groups uh, you've been in, like second quarter, fourth quarter, have been better lately. See what's been in there more often. Uh, Max, Vando, like what, what are you? What have you found with those groups after they, they weren't as effective earlier in the season? Um, I don't think they were um, very effective earlier in the season. Since we just didn't have time. And, you know, I think um, we're getting into a uh, into a rhythm of, uh, of of rotations and lineups and things of that nature. You kind of know who you're going to be out there with. So the more minutes that you log, the more continuity that you get on the floor, and we kind of know where we want to get to offensively and defensively, so that helps.